In this video, we are going to talk about how to dig a hole for your model in ChuToBox. To do this, click the hole button in the menu bar and click add a hole. Then click where you want on the surface of your model to add this hole. This will dig the hole there. You can adjust the settings of your holes. You can change their shapes from circle to hexagon or square. You can adjust their sizes. If this value is higher, the holes are bigger. You can change the depth of your hole, that is how deep a hole you can dig, or how thick the wall you can penetrate. If you add a hole on the surface that is too thick, you will see an error at the bottom, telling you it is too deep to dig this hole. You can also change what your holes are perpendicular to. By default, they are vertical to the model surface, but you can change this setting to screen. So no matter what direction the model surface is facing, the hole always stays perpendicular to the screen. In addition, you can decide whether to keep the hole you're digging. If this is enabled, the software will automatically place the cylinder digged out beside your model. Then when your model is printed, you can put the cylinder back to the hole to hide it. Know that due to many reasons, there may be errors on the sizes of the hole and cylinder, so they probably can't match. We'll talk more about this in the Compensation Tolerance tutorial. The last option is Dig Hole Continuously. If you turn this on, you can add holes continuously. You need to press Escape on your keyboard or double-click an empty area of the software active window to exit digging hole. If you disable this setting, you can only add one hole at a time. Usually, the hole digging tool will be used along with the hollowing feature. When you hollow a model, you should add a hole on the side surface around the bottom of the hollowed part. This is for draining liquid resin trapped inside and avoiding pressure differences. To know more about the hollowing feature, please view the hollow tutorial video.